good morning good afternoon good evening whichever part of the world you are joining from welcome to the satvik toast master for healthy living at this club it is not just toast master of this it's all to about your healthy living we welcome you all to this wonderful meeting and we have a wonderful agenda lined up we have only one ground rule not to disturb the speaker who is talking and also not to speak in a derogatory manner where you may hurt the feelings of the audience well with that out let me invite this wonderful lady as a presiding officer for today toast master runda thank you dtm raghu uh welcome fellow toast masters and esteemed guests it's my privilege and pleasure to welcome you all to the satvik toast masters meeting of today uh, as a presiding uh, officer today i would like to recognize any guest we have in the meeting room i do see a few guest would anyone like to unmute and just introduce yourself briefly uh we have yugma uh how about rakhi jain okay let me see third third might be a lucky one uh, how about guest madhuri would Good you like to briefly day, introduce yeah. yourself yeah, yeah hi yeah. hi um my name is madhuri i'm from andhra pradesh um recently i started attending sapik uh, toast masters because they have a, a very good topics regarding health and all those things a few i attended so i hope that today will be a good session thank you that's great thank you and you're welcome to attend uh, more sessions in the future and uh, join us as well how about guest manoj <laughs> Uh, hi manoj would you like to introduce yourself okay last chance uh, we'll try guest uh, maria patel would you like to introduce yourself uh, yeah hi people uh, so i am maria patel and i am a student i'm studying psychology second year and i also work i i'm working currently with amazon uk so oh, great great to have you here we have a few guests and probably we'll get to them uh, later on in the meeting uh, with that said i will hand over the control back to dtm raghu to start the meeting back to you dtm raghu thank you very much presiding officer toast master brunda we all sit somewhere or other way right whether you are working whether you are sitting on your laptop or looking at your mobile most of our time we sit somewhere and guess what studies recently have proved that this is not the problem with the things that we eat or smoke or drink mostly the problem is with sitting and that causes a lot of issues especially starting with the posture problems and that leads to several issues and today we have an expert in the room who is going to talk on that she has done masters and phd in physiotherapy and she is going to talk to us and tell us why ergonomics are important and how we can do exercises while sitting that will help us in long life when long term to overcome these problems so let me invite 
the big round of applause, Dr. Gira Sage Park. Thank you. Uh, Raghu, oh, oh, what the time I can note down for the keynote speaker? I mean, it's okay. No need of time for this. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much uh, for introducing myself and giving me this opportunity in the Toastmaster Club. Once again, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to each and every Toastmaster Club members, as well as the guest of Toastmaster Club. Uh, today, we'll talk about the ergonomic exercise from your working desk. Now, let me ask you one question that in our day-to-day -day life, means in regular life, how many hours uh, do we sit in our working desk, whether we are working from the home or whether we work from the office. Can anyone tell me uh, that how many hours of sitting that we are going to spend every day? 10 hours approximately. Oh, it's yes, uh, it's an, uh, very high. And I can say the average, the literature said that average, the working people that who are working from the desk, it's all about the 6.5 to 7 hours minimum that we are going to spend from the best and now we need to see that what all are the posture that we are assuming while we are sitting from the desk. So now let me tell you that what do you mean by the ergonomics? So the ergonomics, it is a one type of the law of the working place. So it is a one type of the science in which it deals with the people and their working environment. So today I'm going to discuss about the one of the domain of the ergonomics that is called a physical ergonomics in which we include the proper posture and all about the exercise by which we can prevent the consequences of the poor posture. Again, again, I'm trying to involve that. Uh, how many of you are having uh, any kind of uh, the musculoskeletal like uh, the body pain, a type of the issue? Anybody is uh, facing right now any of the issue regarding the body pain or anything? Yes, uh, this is Pratik I am facing. Yes, yes. So which type of just uh, can you please like the back pain, neck pain, uh, elbow? Neck pain, neck pain. Okay. Yes. Any other else? Anyone else? Uh, uh, I would go with Pratik. <laughs> I'm taking the same. Okay. Yes. So definitely, as uh, if we are working with uh, the posture and our angles of the body in a such a way that is more than 6.5 to 7 hours, it is giving a kind of a pain. And those who are not having, maybe if our working hours is somewhere around 7 to 10, so maybe we are going to see or maybe we are facing the issue later on in our body. Say, for example, the neck pain, it is in the biggest on the basis of the research, those who are working from the desk, almost 45% uh, of the people, according to the literature, they are higher rated, that is of the neck pain, the next is the back pain and the third highest rated that is called the shoulder pain. And the rest of all that maybe they are having the issue with the wrist, with the elbows uh, and sometimes it is end up with a kind of the complicatory problems just as like the tendinitis in which the tendon of the muscle is get inflamed because of the sustained posture that we assume for the prolonged period of time. As an apart, the saying that is a neck pain and sometimes we are going to face an issue about the pain over the top of the muscle and that got inflamed just because of the poor posture. And the second is we are working with the different that is of the mouse as well as the key, keyboards. So maybe we need to even think about like what is the right posture for my elbow as well as for the wrist. And if it is not supported fully 
or we are working with the bad posture, yes, sometimes it can compress the nerve that is passing through the wrist. And at that time, we are going to face the issue that is called a tingling and the numbness, a kind of a slipping sensation that maybe we have if we work with the poor posture with the wrist. And at that time, we need to take rest and they are going to give a kind of the medication as well as. So let us, we don't uh, think that we are going to do or we are having this issue later on. We have an option, we have an, a prevention and we have a good option to correct our posture. So now let me uh, go with the one by one, the different pictures. Now, Look at the pictures in which generally if we are working from the desk, many of or sometimes that maybe our timing period is more, we are going to sit like this. In which I can say that uh, here look at the posture of the neck. It is a forward band. It is not supported as well as the forward band. So definitely it is giving a too much space brain that is over the neck. The second thing is look at the back. It is a leaning back. So now there is a no support even for this area and even for that maybe uh, facing the issue that is a back pain later on. Look at the elbow position, the wrist position. It is not supported. So we consider it as an a bad posture and this leads to many issues later on with the so many places in our body. Yes, maybe uh, this is the other posture. And sometimes if we are working from the home, we don't get a good height of the chair. We don't have a proper desk with us. And uh, again, this a person is leaning forward rather than the previous picture that is in the leaning back. Here it is a leaning forward. So again, the back is totally unsupported. Look at the arm. Arm is not supported. So here the person is, if working for the 7 to 10 hours, it is totally that is hanging and this muscle has to work continuously for the 10 hours. And maybe it gives a kind of uh, pain that is over the upper back pain. So again, we can say this is a wrong posture while we are working. Third is, sometimes we work as in the wherever we got the desk or wherever we get the chair. Here we are taking the support of the elbow. But now we need to consider that the elbow is in a contact point. You have the so many tendons are there. There is a circulation is hamper or the pressure is constant over that area. And it leads to a kind of the common problem that is tendinitis over the elbow. Again, the rest of the bad posture, it is there. There is a no support, totally forward head, the wrist, nothing is there. Only the fit is supported, we consider as in a good part. Yeah, now we are not working, right? Sometimes we are not going to work with the keyboard or with the mouse, but now we are watching the screen. So now what we do, like now we have to sat and relax and then we have to, so like, look, this is all about called a very relaxed posture. But here the major issue is that the back is totally flat. Here there are the curvatures of the spine. But we see that there is a lumbar curvature is totally lost. Yes, the position of the thigh as well as the leg is fine. The elbow is supported. The neck is not is going into the undue kind of a pressure on the yeah. yeah. So here we can see that because of the flat back, later on we can may end up with the consequences that is called a prolapse disc and it gives a letter on to the pain as well as the tingling over the back side of the thigh as well as the back side of the leg because the normal curvature that is necessary for us to maintain it. So this is all about just to watch, set everything, but the posture of the back is very wrong.
here sometimes if we uh, want to work for the longer period of time we keep our uh, the mouse that is a uh, very far from us so look at the angle of the shoulder elbow as well as the wrist here the total that the muscles of the upper part of the back that is totally stretched the elbow is continuously work to maintain this position into the straight position and there is no support over the part of the wrist so which leads to the problem that is upper back up the like elbow as well as of the wrist pain so this all are the long duration if the person is sitting with this all the different kind of the posture it may end up with the so many or kind of the pain that is elbow shoulder wrist neck as well as the back next picture in which we see that the person is reading a document and then the person has to work even from the screen right so what we do generally we just keep a document aside and then we do this so now if we are keeping our document on the table look at the angle of the neck and our eye so here the back side of the bones of the vertebral column and the disc it is totally compressed say for example if we can see we are getting a loading it is in a double loading while we are using this posture for the prolonged period of time if we sit at it if we say that yes the disc has a loading but it is called a move that is 150% of the loading we are going to give if we are working for the long duration of it and that time we end up with the majorly the neck problems maybe it's in prolapse disc or continuous pain over the neck or the continuous pain over the muscle because even the muscles are attached over the back side of the neck so this all are uh, we saw that the different different the poor posture that maybe we assume not the every time but every now and then then it can end up with the so many issues that whatever we discuss now we have to see that what is the correct posture so what is the right way to sit and work so the same person as i saw that how it works with the different different posture with the bending of the neck with the leaning back there is a no support your the person is working even for the whole its elbow is supported the wrist is supported and the back look at the back of the posterior side or the back side it is supported from it so when we look at about the all the angles and if we give a proper support yes uh, we will not end up with the any kind of the consequences the second is if we work with the document so document holder we have to use because the document holder it giving the previous picture if we remember there is a total the document that is on the table so the bending of the neck it's so more and here if we use the document holder it solve the issue of the neck so now there is a no undue pressure there is no more loading over the neck muscles and definitely it saves even our neck if we want to work with the document together and if we want to just watch a screen uh, we don't want to yes we have to correct the thigh it should be over the back side of the chair we can use even the pillow or we can modify our chair accordingly but it should the back it should be supported from the back side here we can see the foot is supported the elbow is supported the angle of the neck it is supported now in this three of the pictures we can see that the neck is in a good angle so it doesn't give a kind of a so much pain over the neck as well as the back is supported elbow is supported so yes this all are the things we need to remember while we are working from our desk now this is an overall picture that we have to remind that what actually we have to monitor or we have to take care while we are working from the desk 
The one is uh, the distance of the monitor to our eye. So it is a little bit uh, lower than our eye level. It should not be so up. It should not be so down. It should be a little bit the eye and a little bit the down. So this is a right position to monitor the screen. The next is we have to look at, this is the angle of our neck. The next is the shoulder and the elbow. So the shoulder and the elbow, ideally it should be in a line. So we have to set our armrest in a such a way that it takes the support of the elbow. It should not be loosely hanged. It should not got the over pressure. It should be in a line with the shoulder and the elbow. So we have to rest the armrest in such a way that it gives a proper support to the elbow and by which we can get a good relaxation or the unloading of the upper back muscle. If we don't do many of the period of time, we are having an issue over the back side of the neck. And I think after the COVID in our OPDs, nowadays, yes, the person are facing a so many issue over the neck as well as the upper back pain. And that is the origination is not is only the one day, but it is all about the long duration and the person is sitting with the eight to 10 hours with the desk. We have to see even the position and the angle of the elbow as well as the wrist. The both is, it's straight. The, the, this is called a kind of our forearm. It should not be too down or not up. We can't walk like this or like this, the incline up or down, right? It should be in a position and we have to take a rest of the wrist so we can manage well the keyboard as well as the mouth. Look at the position of the thigh as well as the lower leg. Yes, it's all about somewhere around 90 to 120 degree. It's all good. But if we give a no support to the foot rest or if we are going with the too much leg, that is a back, it is giving a pain over the knee. So the back, the foot, it should be supported. We have to support from the width of the sit and we are keeping our leg in a such a way or sometimes we can use a foot rest if we think that yes, we need a proper rest from the ground. Next is the monitor riser. If it is there, we need to raise the height of the screen to prevent the undue stretch of the eye as well as the neck. And furthermore, we are end up with the headache after seeing a full day into the working desk. As I said, the document holder, that is a best part if the more of the period of time we work with the document. So, we are going to use this all the things in our day-to-day -day life and by which uh, the more over the problem that hamper because of the poor posture that we can eliminate or we can prevent before happening the any kind of the body pain in our body. So now here are the some of the exercise or we can say the solution for it and it will increase the flexibility of the muscle. It's giving the movements of the joint by which it increases the circulation around the joint and it eliminates a little bit a kind of the inflammation. It happens for the prolonged period of time. So what are all the things that we can do just in a five to the 10 minutes and we can perform it? So the first picture, it's called as in a neck stretch. So here the neck stretch, we have to tuck the chin in and gently we just lower our ear to the shoulder and we are going to hold this position at least for the 10 seconds. So now 10 seconds done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we have to repeat it from the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
So now it gives a good stretch to our neck muscles. So those who are having the issue over the top of the shoulder or the back. So this is a long muscles. It continuously, it is into the a wrong posture and it assuming a tight position. If we give a good flexibility, it's don't give a pain later on. The next is we need to just go for the turn, the heart to the one side as well as up the other side. I hope now uh, do it like since last 40 minutes, we all are sitting in the one place, right? So I guess everybody, you can uh, on your video and do it with me. This is the nice way to remember even the exercise and it takes only about the five or the 10 minutes. Can we do that? Sure. Yeah. So all set because it's all about right now everybody is sitting. So like do it. The first one is all about the neck stretch. So it goes to the ear to the shoulder. Just we hold it. And then, yeah, ear to the shoulder. So the position of the neck is all about yes. Yes. Okay, now we come to the neutral position. Yes. The second is we just turn to right. We just maintain that of the part. We are not going to move even from the upper back. We just keep the shoulder. That is a fix and then we have to turn. Anybody is facing in any kind of the stretch over the back side. Here. Yes. So this is a nice way. Even this give a stretch to the top of the shoulder muscles. Yes. Then we come to again the neutral position. The next exercise, this is all about the chin. So we have to tuck our chin. As you can see, my double chin now, not the banding. Raghunathan Raju, sir, you have to just do the chin tuck. Just lower your chin, not the banding. Because banding gives the pressure to the back side of the neck. We just give our chin over the back side. It is creating a double chin over it. And we have to hold this position. It is giving a nice strength to the muscles of the neck. Right? The next is the shoulder rolls. So the shoulder rolls means now we can. Everybody? Yes? If you are sitting, it is the nicest way to go with the warm-up with this exercise. I want everybody to join. You like it. Yes. So we have to go with the both the ways. The 10 times we have to go with the clockwise and 10 times we have to go that is with the back rotation. So, yes, it gives even the good mobility. So this is all our, the exercise um, focusing on the part of the neck and it saves our backs from the further complication. The next is the wrist and elbow. So we are going to interlace our both and we just face the palm outwards and we just give a stretch. Yes, maybe we are going to feel a kind of the stretch to these muscles. Yes. It gives a stretch. We hold it for the 10 seconds. And then we relax. Feel that we are having a kind of a good stretch over the muscles of the forearm. It gives the mobility to the wrist as well as the elbow muscle. The next is all about the wrist stretch. So now we are going to keep our one palm and we have to move it back as well as we have to move it down. We are going to hold the position, each and every position. Nicely, we get the stretch over the 
upper part as well as the lower part of the wrist. It saves our wrist for the further complication of the wrist as well as the elbow pain. Now, if we are sitting, yes, just as in the some period of time, we have to keep our back totally stretched. If we are sitting with the slouch posture or the forward bed, we have to make a stretch, interlace, palm upwards above head, and then we have to do this. So this is, we hold the position and we give the mobility to the upper back muscles. The next is the back arch. So the back arch, we have to just stand just for a while because in 30 to 40 minutes, we are in a sitting position. So now for that, we are keeping our hand over there and we have to go back. We just hold the position. One, two, three, four, five. So it gives a good mobility to the back. Because maybe we are sitting with the poor posture and maybe it's eliminate the further back pain. Next is all about the pectoral stretch. It's an anterior side of the chest. We have to keep up both the arms like this. We have to move our elbow back. So pull the both the elbows back. We feel a stretch. Because it is a common and a poor posture that is called a slouch. So we have to keep this position and we have to pull both our elbows back. So now it gives a good stretch and it gives a good muscle exercise. Next is, yes, we can stand and we can put our heel as well as the toes that is up. And from the seated position, we can raise our leg up the both the ways. And then we have to go and take a little bit, a kind of leg up. So now, this all the exercise. It is going to go and give a good mobility to the neck to the shoulder, to the elbow, to the wrist, to the back, to the thigh, to the lower leg, to the ankles. So just we need to follow this, the five repetition, that too with the 10 second holes. Hardly it takes about the five or the 10 minutes between the session. And it is necessary to do this, all the exercise, at least a three times in a day. The next is, sometimes we are facing an issue with the eye strain. So, just sit at in one position. Now, don't look at the side of the screen. So, we have to look away. If we are continuously watching the screen, at least for the 30 to 45 minutes, we just look up and whatever. The pictures that we hang over the wall or if we want to look out the window, just we have to sit and focus over there for a particular period of time. And the next is we have to go and move. Not exactly uh, right now. Right now for the eye movements, just we have to keep my head fixed. I have to look down, up, right, left. This is the eye muscle exercise because the screen time is more. We just focus on and sometimes the children, if they are... Uh, Sitting more over the screen, they can face an issue, a kind of a squint. So the both the eyeballs that is merging towards of the middle of the side. So just even the teach them, that is just look at the left, right, up, down. So this is all about the eye exercise that even we need to follow. I hope everybody, uh, you remember about this exercise because it just takes the five or the ten minutes and it saves our back. Apart from it, uh, we need to self-monitor or screen ourselves. Say, for example, right now I am sitting. So I have to look at my the angle, my head. Do I sit like this and monitor this or the watch or the do I attend the lecture like this? Then it's wrong. Just monitor it. This is all about the position of my neck. My head, it should be up. My shoulder, it should be straight. My arm, that is totally supported. My back, 
that is a fully supported. Every half an hourly, if we give a command to our brain that just screen the posture from the top of the head to the shoulder, to the neck, to the back, and to the foot. So it saves uh, so many complications. We don't need to go anywhere. We need not to take any kind of the medication or so. And uh, we just save our body and we just live our life uh, healthy. So I guess it is all about on the last note that the self-monitoring, uh, it is very necessary. And every 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, we need to check our position of the body and that too very necessary and do exercise regularly at least a three times in a day so i guess uh, uh thank you very much and uh done from the my side anybody is having any question Uh, yes, I see the chat. I see that uh, Sundar has his hand raised. Sundar, you have a question? Yes, sir. Unmute yourself and please ask the question. Uh, in the meanwhile, I have yeah, a question. Uh... Uh, not a question. Okay, Sundar, but, go uh, ahead. Go. Good morning. Thank you for giving me the chance. Uh, it's it's not like a question. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I joined very late. I went to the gym. I'm just back. So I could not participate in your exercise, core exercise, because I just did core exercise for an hour. Uh, I have experienced severe pain sometime this March, running from my back of the neck hmm. to my left shoulder. Okay. And it travels till the tip of my finger. Yes. I couldn't, I was not able to turn my head. Okay. It was so painful. Okay. I don't want to take any drug because I, I am, I'm a, I, I go swimming regularly. Uh, okay. I do gym. Yes. But I also wear spectacles, glasses. Okay. Yes. So I want to share an information so that it would be helpful for everybody. Yes. See, when you wear bifocal glasses okay right the long side and the short side yes generally the 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 glass makers or the this opticians they will mark the reading pointers lower part of the glass right yes. so what happens when you when you are sitting in front of the monitor the monitor is straight as you showed in your image it's straight yeah. Yes. But on if you have to read the top of top part of the monitor, you have to tilt your neck because the focal point oh, is at the lower part of the glass. Yes, yes, yes. So you without your knowledge, you are straining your neck. Yes. Right? Yes. And this is an issue with the glass makers. So yeah. earlier I was only having reading power. So I yeah. told them, give me a glass specific to read. I don't want yes. bifocal. If I have to wear two glasses, fine. One for driving, one for reading. Yes. But the glass makers are insisting, no, no, have a common glass. And I, I believe most of the people will have issue. Those who wear glasses will have this neck issue because of this bifocal point. Uh, this is what I want to share. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's an, uh, rightly said, uh, Sundar, that yes, like without our knowledge, uh, constantly we just keep our neck that is into the down. And as I said, it, sometimes it gives a little bit bulging to our disc. And maybe the radiating pain that happens over the all of the posterior aspect of the arm till the finger. So, yes, it is an issue. So, it's yes, uh, good decision to have a two glasses for the near vision as well as for the far vision. Thank you. Doctor, I had a question. You touched about headaches as well, that uh, bad posture can lead to headaches. Yes. Can you elaborate a bit more on that for the benefit of everyone? Okay. So now the headache. And uh, sometimes we can say that if we are uh, sitting, as I uh, shown into the picture, that whenever our neck, that is into the bending position, there are the muscles over the posterior side of the neck. And it travels from the skull part, that is 
our head part from the posterior side and it travels through the upper side of the back. So when we assume a wrong posture, this muscle is go to the shortened position. And now for the prolonged period of time, it having a less flexibility to that muscle and it pulls our bone that is into the backside. And when we want to move the head, now the muscle is not moving with the joint movement. And because of that, we are facing uh, the issue and it radiates towards the posterior side, not exactly the front side of the head. The front side of the headache, it can be happen because of the screen time. That is a constantly, if we are going to look at the screen, it is giving an undue, that is a pressure. And here it's all are the muscles around the face. And that was called a kind of the issue over the front side and the muscles of the back that gets the issue over sometimes over the posterior side. So headache can be of the any of the times the, from the front as well as from the back. So both can be happen because of the wrong posture as well as the constant monitoring the screen. Hello. Yes. Yeah, thanks for this uh, wonderful presentation. I am having a question. So this yes. is, uh, I told that, you know, I'm having a neck pain. Yes. yes. Uh, uh, yeah, it is. So one is because of the maybe using of screen. But yes. nowadays from last one and a half months, my traveling is too much. Okay. Means traveling means uh, uh, one and a half hour it takes for me to uh, uh, to reach up to my office. I'm not driving, but uh, I am sitting. Uh, okay. It's a captain seat in which I seat, sit. So, okay. so basically, I want to understand from you, uh, since while while sitting for one and a half hour at one go and then on return also, sitting almost one and a half, two hours. So almost three and a half hours is going sitting in a car or sitting in a SUV. Okay. okay. So, so I just wanted to know from you, I'm not driving first of all. So yeah. I want to know, understand from you what I should do at that point of time. Uh, uh, you know, what is your suggestion? What I should do? Okay. So, see, whenever we are uh, sitting in the car, whether we are from uh, driving a car or whether we are going to set, yeah. uh, the one thing is we need to see about, uh, that is the one, uh, we have to look at about the lower back area. It should be supported with a pillow. So, do we have a pillow that is in the car that we are going to set over the back area? As I uh, just, I'm just going back to the little bit in the presentation to the slide. So here the kind of the lumbar support, if we give a good lumbar support, it maintains a good curvature of the spine. Mm. So we can say this is the foundation or the base. If we are not going to save our back, it leads to the problem of the neck. So because most of the period of time we sit with the flat back because there is no so ideally we need to maintain our the curvature that originally we have in our body. So if we are going to maintain that throughout and then we just look at about the posture that way how we are sitting. So it is all about our shoulder. It should be straight and we are going to maintain this position and do it a little bit. If you are not driving, you can do this. As I say, the 30 to 45 minutes is the highest time that we do the exercise in between. Otherwise, we end up with the any kind of. So if uh, definitely if you are not driving, you can do a kind of a little bit of neck, uh, the stretch as well as the roll and the shoulder and just set your back well. So yeah. I think the continuous traveling, uh, we should, we can't go out and we don't do anything. But yes, we can do the exercise and we have to set our back well. I think I'm not using the back support. Yeah, I'm using the neck support only. So yes, maybe yes. that is the issue. Yeah, the foundation is all about the back because if you are not maintaining it, definitely it leads to the back curvature even for the neck. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hi, uh, doctor. Thanks for the wonderful presentation. And my question is, uh, you have shown the good postures where we can sit straight and our neck and back straight, right? Yeah. So if we are working for six to seven hours, so how can we maintain that posture for yeah. that long? Okay. So 
first of all, uh, the exercise is one of the part. And the second is hybrid part that is all about the change in uh, the working environment. Uh, in the desk we are sitting, the chair we are using, uh, it's all should be under our control. So if we are not using a kind of a chair in which we have this, that is in the uh, adjustment of the armrest, the adjustment of the height of the set, because the height of the elbow and the table, it should be in a one line. And I am facing the issue from the home that I don't have in a kind of the equal level of the height of the armchair. And yes, if I do uh, use this position at least for the two hours in a day, it end up with the high good pain over my top of the shoulder. So the apart from the exercise, we need to look at about that what the desk we are using. It should be under clear table, right? Ideally, there is a no extra uh, kind of a drawer or something that we have under our table. My leg, it should be goes directly in that we have to. The chair, it should be adjustable. The armrest, even it should be adjustable. And then if we walk with the now, right now, the mouse uh, pad is coming with a nice good, that is a gel pad, that is with the wrist support. Mm -hmm. And it saves even our wrist. And if we go good with the, all the supports, uh, we are maintaining. Apart from it, uh, the general advice is the setting is in one kind of called as in a passive smoking. So like definitely we have to stand and we have to go just a one walk. Apart from this exercise, it is uh, advisable just to go and do a one walk. It gives a good flexibility and maintains our uh, all the joints that is to go back into the neutral position. Because whenever we are sitting, we thought we don't have any pressure, but my all the discs are under the pressure, even my neck posture are under the pressure, and that is on the double load. So when we go and set our whole the body straight, it maintains the disc is a kind of a balloon so if you are going to press on the one side it is bulge over the other side so when we are going to bend it is bulging and when we just go for the neutral position it set the time to maintain the gel inside the vertebral disc so it's a right advice is do the exercise and go for a little walk after the 45 minutes and even the literature says that yes uh, sitting too much, that is a more than 45 minutes, it is not advisable for to eliminate or to prevent the further complications of the body pain. Okay. Yeah, thanks, doctor. And one more question is, let's say if you are in office, we have these adjustable chairs and all those things. Yes. But if at home we are sitting on a cart and watching the TV, so yes. so then how what precautions we can take? Why? Because we can't sit straight, right? So we'll yeah. be in a relaxed mode. Yeah, yeah. So just a picture like the lady. It's yeah. all about the voting. And at that time, we are not going to save sometimes. So as I said, our uh, the body curvature is a kind of the naturally that is in the S shape. So now the S shaped, it is given in a such a way that it uh, whatever the forces that we have from the ground, it absorbs. So it is in kind of when we use a kind of a good shoes of the Reebok with the high compression, it saves our heel. The same way, this the neck curvature and the back curvature are basically the savers of the body. So we need to maintain the stool curvature. If it is a flat from the neck and if it is a flat from the back, but both are causing a severe issue the later on in the life. So definitely, if we are sitting just uh, uh, the television or the any kind, we generally we just uh, raise our both the legs and we just sat us. So we should not do this because whenever we do this, my normal curvature of the back that lost. So whenever we go with the slouch, a kind of this, yes, it gives my flat back. If I keep my both the legs that is in the front and if I'm just watching a television, my back curvature lost. So whenever we have to just keep monitoring that my curvature. If I lost my curvature, definitely I get and end up with the issue. So this all are the natural absorber of the any of the force that is coming. And if we lost it, definitely the one little bit force, it cause and create an issue. And sometimes it is a bulging of the disc or the neck and the back pain. So that's why, as I said, the arching back, 
it's necessary. I want to maintain their curvature because it helps a lot. So even for that time, we need to sit a little bit straight with a little bit uh, the pillow over the back. And then we just sit and we can watch the television. As I say, 30 to 45 minutes, definitely we need to get up and do the exercise. And uh, this is the nicest way to uh, prevent the further complication of uh, the poor posture. Okay. Hope I guess uh, it's a solution for the answer. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Dr. Thanks. Okay, thank you very much for those questions and answering them, or clarifying them. Dr. Giris Sestral, thank you for being here. Thank and you. That many of the people don't know, she is also the wife of our, our own Dr. J. Sestral. Yeah. I didn't want to introduce that in the beginning, but what to do now because I want to introduce her with her own identification. Now, Ed, any other last question? We have Sundar, you have your hand raised. Do you have any question? No, no, no question. Sorry, it was the earlier one. No questions. Thank you very much. Thank you very much with that note. Thank you once again, Dr. Gira Sejfal. We, we will email you our appreciation of token certificate of that. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to share. Yes, if you want any, if you have any doubts, or if you need any clarification, you can always reach out to her. Yeah, definitely. Anytime. Thank you. If that not, let's move to the next part of the agenda, which is prepared speeches. And we have a speech lined up by Toastmaster Arav and his speech evaluator is Toastmaster Wamsi. Wamsi, can you please share his speech objectives? Sure, Raghu. Yeah, thanks, sir. Uh, Greetings of the day, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Uh, I'm the evaluator for the Auro speech. Uh, Auro speech is type uh, pathway is presentation mastery and level two project one. A speech title is journey from fear to confidence, and uh, yeah, from fear to confidence. Auro, back to you. Oh. All the best to speech. Thank you, Toshmasha Auro. Journey from fear to confidence. Journey from fear to confidence, Toshmasha Auro. Timer, it's five to seven. Am I loud and clear? Okay, good to go. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and dear. Today, I want to take you on a journey through time. A journey that began with my struggles and culminated in my joining of Toastmasters. My joining Toastmasters. Once upon a time, not so long ago, I was a younger teenager with a dream to conquer the stage. However, every time I stood before an audience, my heart raised. My palms got sweaty and my words strumbled, strumbled out like they were playing a game of hide and seek. Yes, I had a fear of public speaking. That seemed invincible. But life has a way of testing us pushing us out of our comfort zones and encouraging us to grow. I would like to ask you all one question. When was your turning point in life when you found out that you have the capability to speak in front of a larger audience? My turning point, it came around 10th grade. I had an opportunity to, to participate in a school competition. 
and despite my inner fear i decided to give it a shot i remember the day when i stood on that stage trim leaf in the wind but something incredible happened as i started to speak i felt a new found confidence in myself my words flowed more smoothly than ever before to everyone's astonishment including my own i walked away with a gold medal for my presentation that moment was a revelation it showed me the power of stepping out of my comfort zone and confronting my fears taught me that times are great times are born out of our most significant challenges fast forward to today at the age of 19 and i stand before you as a proud member of toastmasters i join this remarkable community to my communication skills and to share this journey with you all in toastmasters discovered a supportive environment where growth is not only encouraged but celebrated it's a place where i have embraced my unique communication style and use it as a bridge to connect with people from all walks of life so my story is a testament to transformative power of confronting our fears and pushing our boundaries life is an unpredictable journey and sometimes the most unexpected moments can become the stepping stones to our personal growth remember the famous quote in the middle of every difficulty lies opportunities this is a quote by albert einstein in the end i want to leave you with this thought embrace your unique journey face your fears my just discover incredible talents within yourself that you never knew existed now i would want to ask any one of you the question i asked in the middle of my speech what was your turning point in your life anyone Brenda Can you repeat your question please Okay so my question was like when was your when did you feel that your it was your turning point where you felt oh I can speak in front of larger audience I have the capability For me also it was definitely Toastmasters so that's where i was also shy i still i think i am a shy person but toastmasters especially satvik has been like a second home so i'm more open to speaking here but yes that's my fear as well as well as my turning point back to you thank you thanks sir thank you so that was all from my side thanks a lot everyone over to you toastmaster of the day uh i think toastmaster raghu has stepped away for a moment so i'm going to move to the next session uh, of our uh, meeting today
next sec uh, we had a meeting debrief about uh, we had a first contest last week which was a club level contest for evaluations and humorous speech uh, we will be talking about a debrief from our contest judge lakshmi next week she has been unwell so we have there's a slight change in the agenda today so with that said we are going to move to the next and very interesting session of our meeting which is a table topic session uh, before that i would like to uh, talk about the tag team wherein we have a timer who is who is shahid and he is going to time the table topic speakers uh, the timing for the speech would be a minimum of 1 minute uh, so shahid will show a green card uh, at 1 minute a yellow at 1 and a half and red at 2 minutes uh, shahid would you like to show the cards yes runa i will share my yeah hello everyone hello uh, fellow toastmasters so uh, the interesting session table topics we will be having two minutes for whole uh, each topic at the first two, if one minute is completed i will be showing the green card and one minute 30 seconds i will show the yellow card and at two minutes it's a red card so we need to wrap up as early as possible so hope my cards are visible vrinda yes uh... yeah they over are. to you brand okay the next uh, when we are having our meeting we also have an r counter who watches your grammar and uses of crutch words uh, that is yours truly myself who's acting as an r counter today uh, so we have words such as r uh, um er uh, but you know like that we use it very unknowingly and the attempt during the table topics is to encourage people not to use those words and ara we have not escaped i have been watching you your speech as well for the r counter and so that's my role as an r counter and with that i am going to jump to the next role which is that of a grammarian a uh, grammarian today is hari and he has some internet issues so she's uh, i got the word of the day from him which is a line meaning of the word align is to arrange or position things in a straight line or in proper coordination with each other i would encourage the table topic speakers to use this word while you are speaking and to with to acknowledge that usage we would clap or just show our hands this ways to to acknowledge that they have been used so as a grammarian what we would be doing is Uh, watching your grammar a uh, good usage of the english language good words as well as some poor usage of the language and as an example of the word align uh, here's a short sentence to achieve success it's crucial to align your goals with your actions so those were the tag team roles the timer our counter and grammarian and with that we move to the table topic section uh, a table topic section is also by the table topic master uh, raghu i see you are back thank you for handling it vrinda sorry thank you for handling it while i while i was away yes. so vrinda you want to take table talk master yeah i can do that right so as a table topic master i would be inviting uh, the guest as well as uh, those masters to speak on a topic uh, it would be a short topic i would uh, encourage everyone to raise their hand and i would call upon you to speak on the topic it would be a short topic and you could speak for about 1 to 2 minutes so with that said i will call upon the first uh, speaker anyone who wants to volunteer can you raise your hand please okay when we don't see uh, hands raised we have a habit of volunteer that is we pick up on speakers uh, would uh, 
would uh, uh, dr jay would you like to start yes sure yeah okay so for you the topic is um what's your favorite quote and why favorite quote quote okay yeah oh. that is my favorite uh, and uh, good topic you told me thanks sir thanks a lot when when i was reading a book called atomic habit i came across this quote which is like that uh, let me let me remind it properly so it will come across properly just give me a second just yeah the quote goes like this that uh, you don't uh, rise to your goal but you fall down to your system you don't rise to your goal but you fall down to your system so this is a discussion uh, for system versus goal when we see that many of the people are uh, made behind the goal so setting a goal is a good thing that is a good thing however what happens that uh, until we achieve the goal we are in a misery we live in a misery and when we achieve a goal maybe again we fall down and we don't follow what kind of habits led to the achievement of the goal rather than that uh, the best way to uh, follow in life is to have a system that you set your routine you follow some values and you keep on doing that so you automatically not only achieve the goal but you will maintain that success throughout your life that uh, this quote is trying to say so from the atomic habit the quote is uh, again for uh, just for understanding i will repeat you don't race to your system uh, sorry you don't race to your goal but you fall down to your system so having a sustainable habit to set it in regular life is the better way rather than setting a goal so that it tries to convey thanks a lot wow that's a beautiful one thank you and i learned something new today uh, with that uh, anybody else who wants to raise their hand for a table topic strategy topics so why shouldn't i try it okay so let me pick one for you healthy mind healthy body do you agree somebody has right you said mind is a great servant but very bad leader what happens every time when it comes to even food after having your lunch you feel like having some sweets that craving comes from fear not actually your stomach and then you want to have something spicy in the midnight you want to have some snacks But again, the mind game that again causes problems. Mind plays lot of games with you, but if you fall for them, that is when it causes lot of issue. In the fasting days, the mind keeps telling you, you "No, know, the sweets are there, the fruits are there, and everything," and then start giving excuses. It's okay. It's okay to break the fast. it's okay to have the sweets just the sweets it happens in every walk of life not just the fasting right and every walk of life for example sitting you don't want to work you don't want to do anything and even if you are a good at procrastination your mind keeps telling not today maybe tomorrow maybe maybe not tomorrow maybe day after tomorrow it keeps you keep postponing that if you keep listening to your mind but look at others and if you do not listen to it and if you can tune it to a way that it listens to you you can fast well the intermittent fasting at least 16 hours helps you to heal all the problems you have in your body and then if you list if you tame it so that you can do things on time then you become a better leader better manager and also a better employee it's every way 
and it happened with me too, a massive procrastinator and then becoming a better person at my workplace. And same time, when I tame my mind to eat rightfully, I have improved my health today. So rightfully said, healthy mind, healthy body, healthy life. Topic master. Thank you. That was really interesting and awesome. Uh, with that, I want to invite one of our guests if they would like to speak on a topic. I would give you a very easy topic. Uh, guest Rujuta, would you like to try? How about guest Maria? Would you like to try? Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Here's a simple topic. Describe your dream holiday. Mm. Um, give me a second. Take your time. My dream holiday would be maybe... Uh... <laughs> Uh, at this moment of time, like I am at the peak of my career where I have just, you know, just uh, had a roller coaster uh, with my uh, career choices. So maybe uh, my dream holiday would be if I just uh, the subjects which I am currently battling with. Uh, I am learning journalism and psychology. So would be uh, uh, I'm planning to visit National Mental Health Institution very soon so it uh, it would be my dream holiday well uh, i understand that it's not a uh, kind of a place where we could you know uh, it, uh, i mean it's not like a, a destiny a picnic spot kind of thing it does not align with a picnic spot but at also the same time i feel like uh, for me holiday would be a place where i could be myself where i could enjoy of being uh, where I could uh, sh uh, relate with the thoughts, with the environment, with the people. And yeah, so that would be my dream holiday if I get a, a chance, if I get a chance to visit the mental health institution, uh, which is very recently uh, going into peaks and it's rising because of the upcoming mental, uh, awareness, uh, mental health awareness is going on in India. So, yep. Uh, it might sound a little boring as a holiday, but yep, that would be interesting for me if I ever get a chance to visit there. That's all. Well, very interesting, Maria. And I, it's, it's the first that I've ever heard, but everybody has a different interest and I'm really inspired with your line of thinking. That's great. Do we well, have you. time for... Yeah, thank you. Do we have time for one more table topic? I guess we have. So I'm going to invite if one of you uh, would like to attempt. Uh, how about Manoj? Guess Manoj, are you there? Uh, Vamsi, do you want to take a topic? Sure, Anna. Thank you. Okay, I uh, will give you a very easy topic again. If you have to hold a billboard on top of a mountain, what would your billboard say? And you want to say to the world, what would that be? Mm, give me 10 seconds. I'm thinking, Anna. Thank you for giving opportunity, Brinda. Uh, <clears throat> what I'm just uh, <clears throat> like, if you are, if you are like setting up any goal, uh, whatever uh, Sage Paul said, uh, that is the, the quotation. Uh, uh, just I am recollecting that some of the quotations. <clears throat> that is also one of the quotations among the. Uh, what each uh, <clears throat> says, like Jay mentioned, 
uh, what I will put it, uh, uh, like in the middle of something difficulty, if you are facing any difficulties in life, there is an opportunity. Uh, I had many experiences uh, with the, like losing hope in the last minute. And uh, like that, it will give you an opportunity uh, in the, in the, uh, some, after some time, uh, like I will put that famous quotes uh, over the, uh, over there. Uh, that is my uh, taking part. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, that's a, that's a smart idea, Bamsi, that you take a very famous quote and put it there. A oh, very interesting take. Thank you. And with that, I invite uh, TMOD Raghu to take over the control again. Back to you. Thank you very much, Madam Tributovic Master. Dr. Gira Seshpal, this is out of love from our Sattvic Toastmaster for Healthy Living. We'll mail it to you. Thank you for joining us and giving us a wonderful session. And this is a session that is needed and long due for the club. That note. Thank I'll you back and then invite for the reports. Can I invite our grammarian and our for today to smash up with that to give a report? Thank you. So with the R counter, uh, Toastmaster R uh, you I didn't notice that there was just one like that you used, but beyond that, I think your language was pretty flow, uh, flowing and good. In terms of the grammarian role, you had some very good usage of words, uh, astonished, stepping out of the comfort zone, uh, growth is not, uh, not only encouraged, but celebrated, uh, use it as a bridge. So a lot of great uh, usage of the language. Uh, regarding the next speaker, uh, it was our guest who uh, guest Maria, she had more than four or five hours. So that's, I, she's not a Toastmaster yet. So it is obvious that you might have some of these uh, traits in your speaking. Same way Toastmaster Wamsi had a few hours, maybe but less than four. The Toastmaster Jai had one or two, but that's it. With that said, uh, in terms of grammar, again, I didn't, find uh, anything which was very much glaring. So with that, I think we have done a good usage of the language and nothing beyond that, uh, which was out of the uh, like out of the ordinary. And I would hand it over back to T.A. Modi Raghu. Thank you very much. Toastmaster Shahid, can you please present your timer report? Yeah, sure, Raghu. Can you enable the screen share, Raghu, once? Mm, sure. Go ahead. Hope my screen is visible. Okay, yeah. Uh, hello, everyone, and uh, hello, every to uh, fellow Toastmasters. So it's my privilege to be the timer for today. So there is a one famous quotation, respect the time and time will respect you. So in our day-to-day uh, -day or in our regular uh, Toastmaster meetings also, we will be respecting everyone's time uh, from the joining till we close the meeting on time. So like that, today's our activities, keynote uh, speaker, Dr. Girija Sejpal has uh, took 29 minutes and 48 seconds and for question and answers, 13 minutes she took. And for the uh, prepared speech, Arav, uh, he has delivered the speech for six minutes, 40 seconds. And for the table topics, Jay has taken one minute, 46 seconds. Raghu has taken two minutes, 15 seconds. And guest uh, Maria Patel has taken uh, one minute, 32 seconds and Wamsi one minute, two seconds. So with this, uh, all these uh, uh, timings, which align us to the uh, uh, good Toastmasters and good communicators. So with this note, I will uh, complete my report and over to you, TMOD Raku. It's time. Toastmaster Wamsi evaluated his, his speaker. I hope he got enough time for that. 
Yeah. But yeah. yeah, go ahead, Vamsi. Uh, go ahead, Runda. Sorry. No, 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 no. I was just going to say that uh, yeah, the evaluation piece is remaining. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you, Runda. Thank you, Raghu, for giving the opportunity. Yeah, what a wonderful, wonderful speech uh, given by Aura. Uh, I like the speech. He started with the, the schooling and uh, he, he had like he started with the school competition and how uh, he overcome the fear and uh, after how like he transferred me into the uh, uh, like uh, becoming into the uh, toastmaster. Uh, I like I like the way he started the speech. And uh, the speech had a strong structure with the clear opening, body, and conclusion. And some of the moments I recollected in my life, uh, how initially, uh, like I'm an introvert and shy, but when I uh, become into the Toastmasters, uh, becoming the Toastmasters, I overcome the stage fear and uh, <clears throat> and become the better version of every like uh, every day. Like I'm thinking to become the Toastmaster to to make make me the uh, better version uh, yeah a few like recommendation from my my side is like uh, this is the communication styles you are explaining uh, like uh, they come you are uh, it could be the adding more communication styles and how it will be helpful for you to uh, like uh, use it in a, in your life like in your career, that would be the uh, one improvement, uh, just uh, in my point of view. And uh, over, uh, one and overall, like the speech you delivered and and you are transitioned from uh, from one, one stage to other, uh, that is really good part. And to summarize, uh, you delivered a wonderful, well-structured speech and uh, yeah, uh, looking forward i look forward to you seeing you how you continue to grow as a communicator keep up good work thank you back to you thanks a lot vamsi thank you very much vamsi good evaluation vamsi liked it thank you thank you we had a wonderful meeting today now i and my sister in the end, end of day you all have to lead a healthy life and as the topic suggested in Pranthasravi, keep your mind healthy. Take out time necessary for your exercises. Your mind might push you to be lazy. Mind might push you that you don't have time for it. Unless you take out time, it is not possible. Whether it is ergonomic exercise that you do at your workplace or whether it is the normal walking or normal exercise that you have to do in your house. Unless you do that and follow healthy lifestyle, it is difficult to improve your health and become a better worship. That's the goal of Satvik lifestyle and the goal of this club to help you to become better in your health group. In that note, let me give control back to our presiding officer, Toastmaster Rukha. Thank you, uh, Toastmaster Raku. So it was a great meeting. I think we have learned a lot. I remember this quote, health is wealth. And it's simple, but that's what it is. If we are healthy, then all the wealth makes sense. Otherwise, it's not. I, I would invite people to join the meeting. We have more sessions coming up. Uh, keep coming, keep joining. And if any of the guests would want to share their feedback, if they are around, I would welcome that. If not, uh, then we would call the meeting to a close.